The COVID-19 vaccine rollout is in full swing with three vaccines now available to the public. But the research continues to make even more. One trial set to start soon right here in Houston would offer a plant-based version. KPRC2 health reporter Haley Hernandez is part of our Vaccine Central team. Haley, those researchers are looking for participants for this trial. They are. They are looking for participants as soon as possible. And this is for those people who like to know what's going in their body. They like the more natural version of things. And the Texas Center for Drug Development says that they can still protect those people from COVID with this plant based vaccine. Researchers are looking for people 18 and older who have not been vaccinated and are not interested in getting an mRNA or traditional vaccine, but are willing to try protecting themselves with a plant-based alternative. Recruitment lead for Houston Fights COVID, Dr. Sarah Hassan, says this could be beneficial for people with allergies to ingredients in traditional vaccines or those with a preference to something natural. When we talk about the mRNA vaccines, um, you know, we talk about they're synthetic and they're made in a lab, and I think that's already kind of a turnoff for people. I think the words, you know, natural, plant-based kind of um, apply to us a little bit more. Um, they're a little bit more attractive. She says the side effects are actually the same as other vaccines, and she is confident it will protect you from the virus. The main difference is your comfort level, if you prefer plant-based or not. So how does that work? There is a protein put into your body, just like the other vaccines, um, and your body's able to elicit an immune response to it. In addition to this plant-based trial, they're also looking for more participants for Pfizer's freeze-dried vaccine. Remember, Pfizer's normally kept around negative 100 degrees, which is often a problem when transporting it and storing it in rural areas. So with these new formulations and the new way that we're able to make it, we're able to sustain them longer, so we're able to reach more people. Because we know eventually they're going to have to come up with something that can sustain more reasonable temperatures, right? If you're interested in either of these uh, uh, trials or any of their other trials that could be coming up, go to HoustonFightsCOVID.com. Of course, I've laid this all out on our website with a link to Texas Center for Drug, Drug Development. That's ClickToHouston.com. Reporting live in Bel Air, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.